<laughs> what a king, what a king, what a king, what a king, what a king. Um, listen, you guys, I want to recommend for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, King Richard. King Richard was a very, in my opinion, very brilliantly uh, done. I want to thank, I, I'm proud of Will Smith, first of all, for putting it together. He did a good job. Um, and it's very interesting. And I'm going to come from a whole different perspective than probably a lot of people want me to come from. But I'm going to come from a different angle. And my angle is, when you have a, a family, more specifically a black family, a mother and a father, committed and dedicated to the upliftment and to the um, dreams and goals of not only the family, because uh, I believe every family should have a family business, uh, and most of the dominant society believe that as well. That's why they'll beat their kids and make them go to college or whatever. But that's neither here nor there. Um, when I see something like King Richard and I'm allowed to see how he groomed, brainwashed, and dedicated his life to the betterment of his daughters, what did you expect to come out? There is intelligence in the sperm and in the egg. So when, um, in, in my opinion, the... Main thing that we have not been taught. Now, I'm talking about us as melanated people now, okay? Living up under the dominant society. We have never been taught the art, I mean, the science of mating. We've never been taught the science of business. Y'all feel me? And we've never been taught um, realistic, the science of war. Although... Shaka Zulu um, is the blueprint that most uh, <laughs> they, they, they follow. Okay? Shaka Zulu uh, uh, changed the way um, the armies uh, went after each other. Because at first, remember, they just line up like 10 soldiers. Bam, you hit one, they all fall down. Shaka Zulu said, oh, no, 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 no. He was the epitome, the master of what, guerrilla warfare? And how to circle your opponent. But that's neither here nor there. I want to talk about the intelligence. And the science. Of mating. See when you lay down with anything. When you lay down with dogs. You come up with fleas. When you are in a situation. Where you just got a hot behind. And you just. Uh, laying down with any and everything. More than likely you're not going to produce. You know anything of value. And I know a lot of y'all don't get mad at me with this, but I'm sorry. You're probably going to produce something that's headed straight for the cemetery or the jailhouse. It's just that simple. When you don't have the discipline to control your behind, if you don't use your head, you will use your tail. And then what happens is you start creating all these sub damn near human individuals that go around preying on people. That uh like in other words, those guys that you seen in the park that was after Tunde. The brothers that sat there in the park and bummed out at the park all day long and try to ruin Tunde's life because they lives were ruined. So and then they want to beat up Richard because he was focused and doing something that they wish somebody would have actually done for them. You can see it. I don't mean to sound harsh. But at this age now, I can't bite my tongue. And I got to tell the truth. When you lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas. And if you are not looking at your family as that important, something you should plan for, you should have a, a, a protection over, something that you should have pride in, something that you and your partner should focus on. What is the goal of this offspring? What is the goal of this child we finna, we about to bring into this world? If you ain't thinking on that level, please don't lay down and have no children. 
What? Don't even do it. Because it's out of season. You don't have no control and you don't know the science of mating. So you can say what you want to say about Richard and you don't have to be a perfect person to know the science of mating. You just got to know that there is intelligence in the sperm and there is intelligence in the egg. And when you start formulating stuff in your mind, before you bring it and let it manifest itself out in a, a, a existence, before you do that, you think of it here, you bring it out there, and there you have Allah. Now, I'm not going to say every uh, 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 father is going to raise a, a, a Venus in, a Serena, in Serena. It's not what I'm saying. Could be a doctor. Could be a great lawyer. Could be like LeVar Ball and his uh, boys uh, uh, um, playing basketball. I do know this. When the mother and father have made the commitment and the sacrifice that it takes to bring children in this world and are willing to be selfless, selfless into helping their children achieve that goal that y'all set out to do. From way before they hit this plane of existence, you're going to be successful. And guess what? You're going to be an example for everybody else that comes behind you. So I loved King Richard. Um, I don't want to talk about it from any other perspective. I heard a lot of people saying, well, why they say King Richard? Why they don't say Orsine helped him? Yeah, Orsine helped him. But King Richard is what the movie should have been named. Orsine did her part. If it wasn't for Orsine, because see, listen, you got to have yin and yang, right? You got a power, positive, and you got negative, right? And if you don't have them both, the damn car won't start up. Come on, people. You got to have it, okay? You got to have dirt in order the rose for, to come out. The, the beautiful flower, they got to come out the dirt. You got to have the yin and yang. And Richard could not have done what he done if Orsine hadn't worked those double shifts. To support that family. And then if she hadn't took Serena on her own. And start working with her. That was a family. And of those of y'all. Who have never seen a family function. If you've never seen one. Which is kind of rare in the black community. A lot of times we have pastor kids. And preacher kids. That simulates somewhat of a normal family, but there's really so much abuse and, and, and so much hypocrisy going on that the children are aware of it long before the parents are aware that they are. However, when a mother and a father are operating in a in a in a way that is conducive to what they prayed for to what they went after to what they sought before they even laid down then that to me is a union that's blessed to me that is knowing the science of mating um, and once you know the science of mating uh, you don't have to worry about your offspring that's why you can't walk your ass up off the street and walk in there talking about you going to marry a Kennedy. They don't want your ass nowhere near them. You don't have the... Oof. Hoosba. You don't have the... Uh, 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 the science. <laughs> why don't we look at our offspring the way Richard... And Orsain looked at theirs. Why don't we get refocused on our families and our children instead of having them like tumbleweeds spreading and rolling through the desert? Why don't the men begin to take up residence and stop being a uh, 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 destructive um, uh, entities in their children's lives, but become anchors? Because if you because if you are an anchor, you can be very sure that your anchor will hold and it'll grip a solid rock. And those of y'all out there that know what I mean, what I'm talking about, 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I wanted to say that King Richard was a, I, I, I give it a thumbs up. I give it, in fact, it was a great movie. Uh, I watched it twice and um, it was good. It was a good movie. I'm proud of those girls, those for those women, because they showed up and showed out. You'll never see nothing like it again, so you ought to appreciate it. Appreciate it while you have the chance and the opportunity. And stop. Don't look for nothing negative. Look at all the positive that came out of that union. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, you can subscribe and you can share. But I will see you in the next video. Thank you.